My name is Tejas and this is The Squibbler. Today, we're going to be talking about Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Enjoy! probably already seen both the players for Hogwarts Mystery already, in case you haven't, there's a quick look at it, I'll also link them down below in the description box. So basically, Hogwarts Mystery is a single player role playing game, you're a student at Hogwarts set somewhere between the years of 1985 to 1991, so that's after Harry's, spoiler alert, parents get killed, and before he enrolls in year one at Hogwarts. So you're probably going to see characters like Tonks and Bill Weasley during your gameplay. Now the premise of this game is very simple. The storyline of this game starts off with you, the character, enrolling into Hogwarts. Your brother was expelled from Hogwarts and is now missing. So that's one of the many mysteries that we'll have to solve in the game. As for when is this game officially releasing, we're not all sure yet. Now we know that it's going to release in the spring of 2018 which could be any time from now, March till June. So expect this game to release any time now. Now in order to play the beta version of this game, you can only do so right now on an Android device. So in case you don't have an Android device, unfortunately you will not be able to play this game on your phone. I used to have an Apple device until now I was using an iPhone 6s but I had to purchase an Android phone just so that I could do some gameplay footage for you guys and talk to you guys about Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery and eventually Wizards Unite. Now I got the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, it's about eight to nine hundred dollars in the market. Yeah okay I'm just kidding, I didn't spend eight to nine hundred dollars on this phone just so that I could play this game for you guys, no. I got this under contract for just ten dollars so that was a very good steal for me and its specs are like on par with no need. But anyway, we're not talking about the phone here, we're talking about the fact that the only devices that you can play this game on is an Android phone. Now unfortunately, even if you do have an Android phone, there are some countries out there in the world that still do not have access because it's region locked and the beta is only released to certain countries. I'm lucky enough that in Singapore, I get to play this game whenever I want to. Alright, let's quickly run over the pros and cons of this game. Now, I have been playing this game for a couple of days now and let's just say I've actually found more negatives than positives. Now, this is nothing against the game. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I love playing the original Harry Potter PC games. Those are amazing. I can't wait for Wizards Unite and I actually cannot wait for Hogwarts Mystery itself to be officially and fully released because right now we only have access until year 2 and we know that it's going to be until year 7 so definitely more is coming. Now first things first, one of the negatives that I want to talk about is that it doesn't matter where you're playing from or how you're playing it, because you're in the currently the beta version of this game, unfortunately whatever progress you make in this game, it is all going to be wiped off once this game officially releases. That's right, you, your progress is going to go back all the way down to zero once this game officially releases in order to make sure that everybody is on the same level of field. Yeah, I mean it makes sense, the game creators, Jam City, they want to make sure that everybody uh, is on an equal playing field once this game comes out. So at least your money is not being wasted, you know, only your time and effort. Now I have been playing the game for a couple of days now like I said, and I must say the game itself is rather slow. It's uh, there's a lot of tapping to do. You have a lot of there's a lot of conversations that you need to listen to. Um, there's certain aspects of the game that I find a bit ridiculous, like you're supposed to um, talk to someone and make sure that his character is not upset with what you are saying. And you know when you're in a lesson like a flying lesson or a potions lesson, you need to talk to someone else completely unrelated to learning the potion itself. So that's just some of the things that I find a little odd about this game. It's not exactly related to the thing that you're doing. Now there are some hidden features, of course that's one of the, one of the plus points that I like. All of these hidden features that we have to find out on ourselves, those are the things that I like because those things make the game interesting. 
otherwise it's just tapping and listening to what the person is saying and you're just moving along with the storyline there's really not much to it and also i realized sometimes when i want to tap on something i will accidentally tap something else you know something that requires energy um and then you know i kind of waste that energy because i wanted to spend that on something else yeah so it's just you know the interface is still a little wonky um at, there was a point in time where the game lagged for me while it was slightly buggy but otherwise right now the game is working perfectly fine for me now as for whether or not i'm going to do any gameplay footages on this channel i highly doubt so because you know doing gameplay footages of games that have a storyline to it means that i have to do really long videos like 30 minute long videos 45 minute long videos i definitely can do shorter videos but there's really not much going to be in those 10 minute videos and those 15 minute videos i can of course cut down a 30 minute video and shorten it and just include all the important bits but like i said i don't know at the moment there's not much in the game yet to progress in front it's a slow progress because it takes time for the energy bar to fill up i'm not gonna spend any real money in this game not anytime soon at least so to continuously play the game you need the energy bar to be filled if the energy bar is not filled you can't continue playing the game you have to wait a couple of hours and then you can move on so honestly with all of those considerations made i don't think it's wise for me to do gameplay footages for this channel but if you guys are interested let me know comment down below and let me know if you want me to play this game and do some live commentary with it now i definitely think that this game has a lot of potential i do realize that i said a lot of negative things about this game but there definitely are pros and with more years being unlocked in the near future definitely this game has so so much potential hopefully it becomes a really really successful game once this game officially releases worldwide so that's all for me for today thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed today's content comment down below and uh, i'll see you guys very soon see ya